Hey Libra, welcome to my channel, Blessings of Love. My name is BB, and this is your weekly reading for May the 17th through the 23rd. All right, I'm going to get right into it, Libra. Thank you guys for watching, well, for listening. And let me just say this, please brace yourself. Um, it may get a little bit crazy this week. Starting off, you have the Ace of Air. Brilliant new ideas and inspiration, seeing the truth of a situation, a challenging beginning, and that is followed up by pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Then announcement. I feel like you guys, there is going to be a harsh truth that's going to come to you. Um, I feel like it's going it may come by someone that's very prideful, somebody that's very full of themselves. I feel like whoever's bringing you news this week, it may not be the best of news. And I feel like this person can be quite selfish and very egotistical. Um, I feel like this person has a very self-centered mindset. Everything is about me, me, me. Um, I feel like this person... I see you guys arguing or going head to head with someone this week. It is not going to be pretty. Let me say that. Um, overall, I feel like you guys try not to allow this person to get the best of you. Don't allow this person. Don't get down on their level. Whatever they say, try to be level minded about it. But it's going to be a harsh truth that someone brings you this week. Um, and this followed by the night of air, events that a curve of great speed. Take time to carefully review your options, creative solutions. And this followed by health. I will honor the physical vessel that ensures my soul. And it's followed by nest. An emotional, secure, loving family is important to you. Now, some of you, this may be a message that you receive about your health, or it may be a message concerning your family, or there may be some disagreements in your family that's causing you to have un unhealthy relationships. But whatever it is, I feel like it's going to kind of get a little bit shaky this week. And that's followed by, next is the ego card, a false sense of entrapment. Being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. And to clarify, you have worry. I'm learning that worry does not change an outcome. And this also followed by the rabbit. Too much concern with sexual matters. Now, another way to look at it, this may be somebody that's, it may be somebody that is using you, that only wants you for sex. I feel like this person is good at pretending they're good at saying all of the right things but when it comes to taking action they're null and void um i just feel like some of you guys may find out either somebody's been sleeping with somebody else you may find out that somebody is on the download just saying um i feel like you may find out that somebody's into something kind of kinky sexually that you would not think um and following that, you have the five of fire, competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. And I did clarify the five of fire with deep friendship with the same, with someone of the same set. So some of you guys may get into an argument with your friend or family member, or some of you guys may receive some news about a friend or family member that has you very upset. I feel like somebody doesn't know how to give respectfully. I feel like somebody is a, a taker. They constantly take. They're constantly wanting things to be their way. And I feel like this week, things are going to come to a head. I see you arguing with someone. I see you really communicating your truth. It could be you telling someone how you feel or telling somebody they can go to... <laughs> But um, I just feel like there's going to be some type of conflict. But with all of this conflict and chaos, it's going to bring forth a sense of clarity. And clarifying also the five of fire, you have blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. And it's followed by men, dealings or relationship with a man. 
So, some of you guys may be dealing with a man that doesn't know how to take responsibility. Somebody that doesn't have accountability for their actions. I feel like this person blames everything on you or it could be vice versa. I feel like this person may also have issues with alcohol. This person is very... Don't underestimate your enemy. Let me say that. Don't underestimate your enemy. It's like feel like somebody's going to reveal who they truly are. And it may be a little bit shocking. But it's going to give you what you need to move forward. I feel like this may be somebody that you've wanted to build a family with. Or this someone that you may have wanted to be with long term. But I feel like whatever this news is, it's going to bring forth clarity and you're going to see through the BS. You're going to see who this person really is. And for your love cards, again, you have pay attention to the red flags, release your ex, forgiving and learning. So if you get any signs, any warnings, any messages that spirit sends you, Please pay attention because I feel like they're trying to get your attention about this person or situation. It could be an ex just coming back for sex or for some type of sexual pleasure. Um, release the past, heal yourself and let go and allow yourself to have new beginnings. Because I feel like somebody has not changed. They're still with the same mind games. They're still manipulative and it's not, it's not going to be a positive outcome with this person. So really have your guard up this week.